one of the biggest and most sad news stories going today is that a uh, race car driver by the name of Kevin Ward Jr. was struck by Tony Stewart while getting out of his car mid-race. Uh, he he was upset because he was turned over uh, by Tony Stewart in the first lap, and he got out and he collided. Um, he angrily approached Stewart's vehicle as the racers were warned to slow down on their next lap. Stewart's car then hit Ward Jr., and the 20-year-old driver was pronounced dead. The race was immediately canceled, and Crash is now currently under investigation. Stewart was not scheduled to compete in another race Sunday, but uh, Reagan Smith will not be taking his place. Uh, the incident is being investigated by the Ontario County Sheriff's Department. There are no criminal charges pending at this time. I am not going to show the video. It is incredibly graphic, but there are, there are screen grabs all over the Internet. Um... You know, he definitely has, like, a, this is Tony Stewart right here. Uh, he definitely has, like, a come-at-me-bro moment where he's, uh, you know, he's a 20-year-old hot-headed kid, you know, and, you know, he, you know, he made the motions come at me, and Tony came at him, and, you know, I don't think Tony Stewart would maliciously try and kill this kid, uh, but, I mean, it was it's something that definitely could have been pre prevented by, uh, him not getting out of the car, but you got to think, you know, with that that flag going, they needed to slow down. Uh, it's it is an accident, I'm sure, but uh, things get heated for sure, with absolutely. So this is a very tragic event. Rest in peace to Kevin Ward Jr. Twenty years old is way too young to go, and uh, let's just we need to calm down our road rage in general. So once again, I want to say uh, rest in peace to, to Kevin Ward Jr.